Hey guys, welcome to the Frostbite YouTube channel. My name is Alex Perrick. I am a co-founder of Frostbite, and today I'm joined with Mr. Mark Tully. Here I am. I'm just happy to be out here. My official uh, title would be the president of the company. However, there's just a lot of roles that go with that with a small company, and uh, right now we're out here to catch some crappies. The goal is crappies. Today we're showcasing the rods we would use for crappies and the rods that we would recommend for crappies. So stay tuned. Let's catch some fish. Man, I full glove dunked for that one. This is in the hole before I expected it, and it's a lot nicer than I expected to. That is a nice, solid crappie. There we go. That's the shrimp scampi color of dragonfly and the fire tiger five mil tungsten jig. It looks like that's a that's a solid crappie. Back down the chute. We'll try and stay on him. For Let's go. Oh. Here we are, Mark and Alex. Alex and Mark at it again. We've succumbed to the shelter. Okay, I'm kind of worried that somehow the autofocus just got flipped on, so yeah, there's that. Hopefully that wasn't for the whole video. Yeah, make them look different. Everybody stay calm. Nobody freak out. Freaking Nobody enough, freak out. This is it, folks. This is it, boys. This is this it. This is it. This is a good one. Oh, it's just oh, buckled. Yes. Just buckled. My first crappie of the day on the Royal Flush. Oh, oh it's big. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a little bit of a grind, but those are the fish we're after. Mark is using a 33 inch rattle bait. Bruh. 33 inch rattle bait and I go with a little jig on plastic and 33 inches I think you're getting your international units mixed up gorgeous fish that's a nice crappie yeah baby Ooh. oh yes 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 again the, the the crappies came in I wish we would have had this going obviously it's kind of dumb to talk about it but all of a sudden one two three four marks came from this way and there was a school fish uh, Mark missed one and are you gonna get this fish I'm going to convert them. I baptize you. Man, can't believe I got tapped and missed it. Like, how do you eat like a 33 inch rattle bait and not get hooked? Feeling a little foolish, but that's okay. There's time for redemption. Watch. That 33 inch bait. I mean, could you imagine how big that fish was? <laughs> but, oh my gosh. Mark. Yes. Oh no! <laughs> oh, it broke my line! The giant fish broke my line. That was the biggest crappie in the lake. <laughs> that was a great new color. Check, check. Check, 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 check. It is officially prime time. This is time to go. What time is it? It's prime time. <laughs> it's prime go time. time. But here we are, we made it outside. We're enjoying the great outdoors. Uh, and we got some great rods to show you guys. Um, some great rods. These are the rods we've been using today. So it's the Pantastic, the Royal Flush, and the Dipstick. Pantastic is right here. So that's your 29 inch ultralight and that's a uh, the fiberglass construction, which is a great noodle rod for... If you want me to be a part of this, I'm gonna have to untangle myself. Okay, here we are. Okay, let's go. That's the shorty handle going up from there. You've got the Royal Flush, which goes into graphite construction. So it's got a little bit more backbone and you can pair that with a uh, spring bobber to get that ultimate sensitivity, but that goes up to be a 36 inch light. And uh, that's that's a great, again, upsized uh, pan fish, bigger crappies and uh, even a really delicate presentation for walleyes. And you put, pair that with the spring barber, you can get that ultimate sensitivity you're looking for. And then 
Alex is rocking the dipstick right now. In a sense. It's it, very soft. It's, it's very it's soft. Noodle tip. It's got the noodle tip, so it, it goes right into, from that tip, right into backbone there, though. So it's an amazing dead, dead stick rod, but it's also so great for fishing outside and fishing light tugs and jigs because you can feel every little bounce. And uh, I like a longer rod. I'm going to prefer to use the dipstick over the Pantastic. But there's situations when you're fishing inside of a house and you're fishing for shallow fish that a Pantastic is going to probably outperform a dipstick. So we've kind of, uh, we have those two models for you. And then that Royal Flush, like Mark was saying, just kind of fits in between those two. 29 inch, 36 inch, 39 inch. Well, as you can see, and you've probably heard about the two different models, the Twilight and the Van to Black. Van to Black has that, uh, handle hugger sleeve that comes with it. It's a pure cork handle for just the ultimate lightweight. And then the, the newly designed Twilight series has that, the real hoods and uh, the removable butt, and you can put on larger butts to get any size you, of butt you want. And that product is called the Butt Job, which is a uh, great name. If you're looking to extend your butt, get a Butt Job. So that's the difference between the two series. And, and that's, that's a wrap. I'm going to be using a Golden Minnow Micro Dinner Bell. I like it. And I'm not changing it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to end the day on a strong note here. The sun is like at the perfect position. Everything looks great here. Let's go. Feels great prime time on the dipstick shake and bake. I'm gonna get it right back in. That is a big crappy mondo on the gold minnow. Okay. Dude, how big is that? Mm -hmm. Huge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 13 and a half. Almost 14. Beauty. There she goes. Halfway between our holes. Crazy. It's pushing like 12 feet away, hey? Yeah. They are coming in hot. <laughs> yeah, just rip jig a bit to get them whipped up there. Oh, they're leaving. The rip jigging isn't whipping them up at all. <laughs> That would have been so epic. Oh, when you're this big, of course. Oh my gosh. That's a nice one. Another beautiful crappie. Sun setting in the background. The hook set on that double was both at the in, same time. Yeah. Like they both ate just immediately as we were down. Well, not immediately as we were down there, but at the same exact time, those fish just bit. Able to land this beautiful crappie i was unable to land an even nicer crappie <laughs> yeah your mark looked a little bit bigger than mine oh man that was cool there's still um, there's still fishes down there that was nice nice awkward handshake there too to end it off i just love handshakes it's been too long without them yeah here we go that's it that's all she wrote you guys enjoyed this episode of fish frostbite make sure to leave a thumbs up just uh thank you guys for supporting us we're a small startup company and we really truly do appreciate it we're trying to provide affordable fishing tackle um to you guys in the u.s and canada if you guys want to check us out fishfrostbite.com and if you live in canada fishfrostbite.ca check it out thanks for watching we'll catch you guys next time <laughs>